Hi, and welcome back to Stop Motion. Uh, last time we... what did we make last time? Oh, yes, we made some uh, sponges, uh, uh, like this one, and other stuff like that, the small one. Careful here. And we made some of these ones. But now we have kind of figured out the scale of everything in the scene I'm making with the porous scene. So, and as you can see, we we'll move this over here. As you can see, the this part of Oh, sorry, this butterfly and this butterfly is too uh, is too big compared to the flower, so we had to make a butterfly uh, half as it's a little flower, so it's okay. But uh, that is twice as big as it should be. So we will make one half half size and. Uh, that's uh, just a little uh, stick I made. I don't know if you can see any. Can you see? It's a very thin one. But I have drilled hole to the legs. Uh, and insects have six of those, so that's a little difficult in such a small piece, but uh, that's how it works here. And. Uh, and I have, as you can see over there, I have made wings for it, and then we have to make make uh, uh, maybe you can better see it on uh, another camera, maybe or maybe not. No, that's too far away. But you can see the black spots on it. It's. Um, it's a white uh, butterfly. We have a lot around here with those. Some of the most uh, uh, usual uh, butterflies around here. So, but uh, we will try to make this one and see if if we can get it to fit more uh, scale. And as you can see, we need to make uh, antennas like, like on the big one here. And you can maybe better see the black ones on this one. So, and to make that, oops, no, it's always. I just dip it in in kind of thick paint. So now you can see it's kind of thick on the end. And we want that. Now I need the squeeze on here. the camera don't don't come in and we will let ah it's magnetic the squeezer is so and we will take another one here see and I will dip that in paint too you can see I have some very thick white paint here. Sometimes I had to do it more than once. 
I will just get a better hold on it. The first one went well, the next one didn't. So, or maybe. We will let it dry and then we will do it again a little later. <clears throat> so, and then we will, we need to, of a very thin wire here, I will make six legs. I will cut them in the right links afterwards. I will put the camera down here. So you can. And that was two. This one was magnetic, wasn't it? No. Yes. Oops. Get up. And two more. Be careful not to bend it because I have stretched this wire before. Before I did this, so it's straight and lay that there, and it is not easy for you to see any holes in this one. Can I focus? But uh, I guarantee you, I have drilled hole in it. Maybe you can see it there. But uh, anyways, there are holes. But now, the big job finding them. I will remove this clay stuff here. Perhaps. First, I will take some glue. Yep. <clears throat> when you hear some scratching once a while, once a while, then it's because when the compressor starts, it kind of because we oops, we're gonna use that. It is really hard to. Call this hole in one or what? <laughs> and I put this up here again. Between, oops, this way and kind of. 
see everything. Like this. Get in there, please. Yes. That was not holding one. But uh, we got it in there. And now we hope there was glue enough on it or enough glue on it. Why, why don't, why do they need six legs? Flying anyway, so. so I can't see anything. I can't see. Oops, there was not enough glue on the other one before that came out again. Patience, patience, patience. I guess a lot of stubbornness can do too. I can see. So, hope to. I think it, this time it works. And onto the other side. to the finger. So 
Facebook. That's the good thing with the super glue that it's dry so fast. Maybe I will cut this a little longer because then it's easier to get in there. A compressor. Ah, and now I have juice on my hands. And Last one. Cut this one. If it did do that. that too early. You'll make a longer one again. He let it stay here a little bit, and then. to yes and Nice. 
so. So we'll see if we can cut in this one now without destroying it. Because I want to put this in before I start to paint these uh, antennas. Because the holes are so small that the holes are not thicker than the thread. I have a very small, you can see the, if you can see the thread, it's so thin. And as soon as I put paint on, then they close. I shouldn't have closed this one. figures came together. And can you see? later on when I put something behind it. <laughs> it's hard to see. And the camera will not focus on it. And try with the next one. And we have to be careful because the paint, the paint isn't dry yet. How 
all the way to this now. That was not a good way to hold it. That was better. But it don't look a lot like a butterfly right now, don't it? Does it? So we will paint it a little bit. And the way we will do that is like this. I'm just mixing some color here. one because I will use this one an airbrush see if we can get any color out of it should have taken another piece of yes it's okay This is the, when you just press this down, there's only getting air out. And if I draw it back simultaneously, 
while I'm putting it down, it's, it's giving color. So I kind of dry it just by putting it out. Oopsie, my butterfly. Now, there's no more paint. There's no more paint. This one I'm not putting sitting in there that much, but uh, I think that's enough. And then you have to clean this every time because otherwise you have problems. because acrylic color is only some color stuff and then glue. then you cannot get it out easily. So, I think that's fine. See, here we have the wings. And we will put them on. We will put them on. And you can see kind of the way I have drawn that stuff. That's more or less how they are in the real world. can put some black black dots on here.
go away. Mm. Yes. this one on maybe I prefer have it on the table yes yes I cannot see if the wings and the legs are fastened to the front body and uh, there's nothing on the back body. The rear part That was enough. So And another wing.
and let it dry a little. then we will give it, you can see there is some spry on the, the black spry on the tips and near the body. And then I put a little, some fur on here. You can see I have done the same thing with this one because that's how they look. They are a little furry, so, but I will just get a little thing. Then you can see, oops, the camera, then you can see the other ones I have made because you can see in this box here, that's the way, oh, oops. That's the way they fly. You can see now the wing is set up. And here I have one with the wings down. And that's when you and when they fly and they put their wings down, they kind of flex their lower body or their tail or what we shall call it up. So I have sh shot a lot of butterflies in my time, so I have kind of been studying how they move. Even that can, they can really uh, kind of hover in the, you don't expect that, but when they are, They are kind of, uh, what shall we, flirting with each other. Then the male kind of is, uh, nearly stands, not totally, but nearly stands still over the female. And it's kind of look funny and thick. And even that they kind of, uh, is it precious? impressive that they can see them they but i think they also uh, pharaohs uh, that's the way they follow them but i don't know but uh, it is fun to look at When they want to play with the girls, so shall we try? See if we can.
give it a little spray. We can do it here. Be very careful. Why are you doing that? How? Oh. So it's empty, then we only need to make a ton of those. If we do like this, can you better see then? Right? And then you borrow the flower from here and see now it's because these, now it's more like size wise. Scale wise, and when they fly, they have uh, oops, they have the, their leg kind of backwards, uh, they are kind of. Uh, Uh, what should we say? Bent the opposite way. I think we need to give it a little something, something here. Dry and too wet. That's the question.
Hmm? Where is my okay here? is too big. So and then we will see if we can bend these back and out. I'm afraid I will I have to wait to to it's dry. But we get one finished, so we need a lot of those. And uh, see, now you have a butterfly. So I will say thanks for tonight and oops. And see you again next Monday, where we are probably are making something else, because there's a lot of stuff to do, different things all over the place. But you have, uh, if you don't have time to see on Monday, you can go to the site pixelfantasies.com uh, and. Uh, there you will find all the episodes I have made, and we have, I think it's about 170 episodes of, of stop motion and kids' workshop and break. And now, yesterday, yes, yesterday we made, uh, started um, Santa's workshop. So there's a lot of stuff. So go to pixelfantasies.com or look when we are live again um, Monday with this one and tomorrow we are live with uh, kids workshop where we are building a boat and uh, we are not uh, the break we, uh, I have a, a something I call break that the break is uh, as in, in pause and stop uh, a show to for people uh, who still are able to focus on uh, more than a few seconds and who know to appreciate your journey. And we, you know, we are always uh, um, wanting to uh, make uh, different things. And then when we get old and when we get time or whatever excuse we have, but break is kind of a show where we Every day we use an hour and make the stuff I want. And right now I'm uh, restoring a ship I had laying around for years that kind of get a little, uh, need a little care, should we say. So I will fix that again. And uh, on next time we will make something else. It's, it's only a, Coincident that we are making boats in two in the kids workshop and here it's not gonna be about boats all over the place just for for this time but uh, break uh, we keeping a pause and break because uh, uh, I need the room in break to the centers that we start next Friday we start uh, sending that so and uh, yesterday it was only about a Christmas decoration I made. I make one of those every year, so to give some inspiration around. So I will say thank you and uh, see you again Monday. Bye bye.